Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Today, we're gonna make a wooden spoon using bent lamination. I made this spoon way back in 1992 as a junior in high school for a Mother's Day gift. And now, 24 years later, I'm going to make the same spoon using the same techniques and once again give it to mom for Mother's Day. The technique involves using layers of thin wood that's bendable, glued up in a form. Here's how it's done. I'm using quarter sawn red oak with the straightest grain I could find. I resaw the two surface sides of the board into 3 16th inch pieces on the bandsaw. The middle piece is jointed on one side and ran through the planer. All the pieces are then sanded down to a final thickness of 1 8 of an inch. You could also do this with a planer and a shot made sled if you don't have a drum sander. For the form, I'm gluing up some scrap mahogany I had lying around. 2x6s from the home center works best for this application. Once it's dry, I'll draw the curve I want for the spoon and cut it out on the bandsaw. Note, if you're making a form for larger and thicker pieces, you'd want to remove as much wood as the total thickness of your piece, so all the curves line up when clamping. Since our spoon is pretty thin, it's not necessary. I'll then sand down the rough edges and check for a nice even gap. You'll want to line the form with cork or foam padding to even out the clamping pressure and make up for any inconsistencies. I'm using packing tape to hold it down, which also protects the form from glue squeeze out. I'll then cut my pieces down to size, add glue, and start clamping. I'll start with the center clamp, and as I tighten the outer clamps, I'll have to go back and retighten the center clamp. The key is lots of clamps and as tight as you can get them. Let it dry for at least one hour. I then use some spray adhesive to apply my template and cut the shape out on the bandsaw. I cut close to the line and finish it up on the disc and spindle sander. I then remove the template and do some final shaping on the spindle sander as well as the random orbit sander. 80 grit works great for sculpting. And finally, I'll drill a hole in the top and finish it with some butcher's block conditioner. I did experiment by cutting a thin piece on the bandsaw and gluing a rim along the top. I didn't like it, so I ended up sanding it off and found that just sculpting the spoon with sandpaper was good enough. So I did make a couple extra, and if you're interested in purchasing one, I'll have a link down below where you can find them. There will also be a link to the template in my store if you want to make these yourself. Patreon members will have access to the template for free. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a way for you to support the content that I produce. Patreon members have access to a weekly vlog as well as a giveaway that I do every week. Last week we gave away a lathe dust collection system and this week we're giving away pen turning supplies. Every week I'm giving away something different, either a tool, a jig, or something I've handmade. There'll be a link down below if you want to become a Patreon member. I'm also very active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So here's a question I have for you. I have all these bent lamination cutoffs. If you have any suggestions on how to use them, let me know in the comments down below. As always, be safe, stay passionate, and make something.